It always gets uh, <laughs> shouted at from my mom for playing with the ball in the house. Didn't like doing schoolwork, I'd just play with the ball the whole time. And yeah, I never really thought that I'd end up this, this way. But I suppose like everyone's got their own story. I was working in Saudi Arabia, I had a two-year contract. Vanessa was uh, what's up in me, uh, Daniel's playing good rugby, good game, yes this, yes that. And then I just got the WhatsApp and says, oh Bruce is done. She said, Bruce it's bad, they're doing CPR. After a scrum collapsed, we kept our eyes on the players and noticed that one player, when he stood, wasn't standing correctly. He was a bit strapped, wobbly on his feet. He then went down, took a knee and tried to get up again, very disorientated, unsteady, and then we watched him collapse and immediately responded from there. We did the ECG, we sat on Daniel and I had now seen him now flat line of but it's for me, it's like a flat line, what I see, I can't think of the player now what or what. Dr. Swabi recognized that the key rhythm in his head, but he made it bigger than I think it's a fine print. He did it, he made it bigger than the sinus, but he's in VF. And while he did the pedals, he was shocked at the same time. I had to begin with CPR immediately. Normally when we have a normal C-spine injury, we take our time in order to prevent any further injury. Obviously in this case, the injury is done, we need to get going quickly, we need to get to definitive care. So we responded very quickly, everyone knew exactly what needed to be done, how it needed to be done, very good teamwork, quick response, we were able to do everything necessary on the field and immediately get him onto the trauma board and onto the golf cart and out into the clinic so that we can do further stabilization there. Amal kon het op op die televisie gesien het is kloomfoto gehad waar die mens het foto's gevat en net om so iets te 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 hoor en te luister dat jy in 'n ander land is dat jou kind dit sê gaan getrain so en jy weet die regte waar wat gebeur het dit. Josh het vind me later on they are in the emergency they've stabilized him uh, but he's not out of danger yet then I told my wife and all help did break loose. The Western Province um, senior doctor phoned me uh, discussing and then <clears throat> Dr. Jason said that there was divine intervention. He said it was just not medical, but definitely divine intervention. I got the story from my one friend, Carl White. He was the prop that day. I was a hooker. He said I just collapsed and he sort of caught me before I hit the floor. I think the, the time frame that, um, that the incident had occurred in the field and the time he was at Vincent Pilotti in the cath lab was within the golden hour, which is obviously very important. 18 minutes. 18 minutes to be exact, yeah. These medical guys down here, the guys that uh, were here on the day, this is not a job for them, this is a calling. This is something they've got a passion about, they're born with this. And uh, this is what they want to do, they want to help people, they want to save people's lives. And with them coming here on the day, Newlands, ER, Western Province were put to the ultimate test on that day and they came out 200%. Dat is altijd wat de mensen dank ik krijg niet van mensen af en van dat is altijd dat die mensen weet wie het jou recht of waar getreed of wie was die persoon dat wat jou leven gered het. Dus die mensen kan je altijd dank ik zeggen niet. Ik heb nog vanochtend wat ik kom zien dan denk ik wow ik kan het echt geloven niet als als een meisje om te zien hoe goed hij aangesteerd het voor voor wat met hem gebeurd het. Want ik bedoel hij kon dood geweest het. It's an ICD, it's similar to a pacemaker and you can put different settings on it and you can make sure that your heart rate doesn't go too high or too low. Um, but yeah, 
um, if I had to collapse now or do the interview then um, it'll just sort of give me a reboot and I'll get back up and I'll carry on with the interview. <laughs> I'd always tell my dad, um, yeah, I played number 10 for the Springboks. Rug rugby was life. It, it, it was everything to me, but I've learned over the past two years that um, there is so much more to, to life. <laughs>